laughs. Oh, man. Yeah, I feel like the first five, ten minutes is going to possibly just decide the outcome of the game. That's when I look at these two drafts. It's but it may oh. not matter. He's trapped in the side anyways. Lua doesn't need another nuke because Kuro, surrounded, looking to juke, has a couple of tangos to escape, but the right click damage, too much. First blood goes Lua's way. Meanwhile, mid, though, they try to make a move on 4 down 430, and that's going to prompt the split. And now all Secret want to do is walk away. The tombstone got dropped. That zombies will help deal with some of the... The Bruce split aspects, and I don't even think they get anyone here. Karoki's fine. In fact, they may turn on Burning. Where's the backup for him? They keep on chasing. Will he make his way out? Arteezy trying to nuke him down. Can't do it. His puppy will fall in the Enchantress. But it's a Bruce split for simply an Enchantress. Not that great. Good news, though, is IG do get that Tier 1 bottom with a more momentum for Luo. And to me, he's going to be the key. More so than their team fight, it's just the split push of the Bruce, but he got oh. caught by a call. Oh, there's the chop! Splits that spiderly down the middle, and away the Brood will go. A slight misstep from Brood Mama, and that's what happens. Mid lane, meanwhile, 430 comes in from the side, gets the club on Arteezy. There's no split to follow, but with a cast Maledic, Arteezy in trouble. Queen of Pain rocks up, and Arteezy not going to survive the Maledic, does as much damage as he can. But IG, get one back. Took some heavy commitment from them, but that is... Already dead, and now a blink call comes out onto Burning, but there's no follow-up just yet. He's able to blink back and survive. Now the rock. That's on quite a few. Chuan going through with the death ward, and he's healing all the while as the Pugna ward expires. That's four drops low. Still surviving through this, but the Bruce split follows it up. Now onto Puppy. They just can't attack him, though. He's basically invincible to physical damage. Arteezy continuing to do work on the back lines, dealing with the Bruce split. There's no backup for burning here, and the zombie apocalypse. And fight as they drop the upheaval, chasing S4 out a bit. He's very tanky. This one has the mech and the stick charges. Won't be an easy kill. 430 lunging forward again. Wants to isolate Zion the back lights, but gets hit by another strike. Chase forward. Claps there. Can they bring him down in time? Out comes the rock. It's cool down. Luo getting called though. Arteezy kept alive by a nice oh. decrepify, but it seems the team fight might be too overwhelming from IG. Running down Zai. The golem going to assist him as well. They get a second kill. Two cores down, including Zai. That ends a mega kill streak, and they're not done just yet. Kuroki on the run has no TP, and Luo knows it. Drops the tombstone on the high ground, not gonna help him. In comes the spider, it's spider on zombie. Massacre in the jungle, but the zombies do add up here a bit. Now the death ward, they need it all to kill off Secret. They get another, Chuan being surrounded, IG getting overrun. Man, they just can't deal with these zombies. Puppy getting chased back a bit further, and will limp away. Finest. This hero excels at these chip battles and just daring IG to come in and actually fight. As long as they sit back, we'll continue this. They call to kill off the Spiderlings again, and now Bernie makes his move. He jumps right into the death board, takes a lot of heavy damage off the bat. But meanwhile, Chuan's going to work on the backside of the fight. S4 will fall to Luo, BKB, and they just can't deal with him. Now the Queen of Pain on. Zai calls okay, nothing, basically the tombstone down, and Zai will fall as well. IG able to hold the line. Arteezy looks to turn this one, but Luo just too tanky. Now with Polder coming out, follow-ups there. Pandas and Spiders working together to bring down Scout. Skeletons and Bambi. Puppy should be next. Three dead. They'll look. Last but not least for the deer. And it seems they may find him. Another crit. Puppy unable to survive. Still the warlock outgoing. That golem doing some heavy lifting. And five dead. IG. They clean up all the creeps, the tombstone, the ward, and secret. Queen of Pain. Burning actually blinked in and took a lot of damage quickly. I think Puppy maybe could have killed him, but wasn't using the impetus through BKB. Either way, it was a tough fight for Secret to take. It feels like they have to get a blink call catch on heroes if they want to be able to fight IG. And once you use it to save the Netherworld there, IG are ready to jump. IG, grab the Aegis. And with that, a whole lot of momentum in this game. The ults are on cooldown, and that's where Zai looks to make his move. Jump in quickly onto Luo. The Teth Ward coming out from the high ground. It's Chuan who just stands and delivers. They also have the slow going for the Warlock. It's a full duration Death Lord. Somebody stop this man. They can. And Secret still trying to fight the way through a troll trap of Bernie. But he's got the Aegis. How the hell is Chuan still alive? Healing his teammates. Getting zapped endlessly. Doesn't even care. Another jump forward. Looking again for the Pugna. And they'll find him it seems. Luo just continues pursuit. Nobody dying for IG. In the end, they all survive. They bring down Kuro last, but not least, double team wipe. Oh my god. Team wipe into team wipe. The Warlock pick.
Two, three hero clap and then immediately just go straight on the racks. Is he gonna find it for 30 patience from him as Burning initiates BKB popped by everyone. Zai looking for the call and oh, Arteezy. He just mounts to this. He tries to glimmer away. He life tries to turn it. He's not dead at the Fallon just yet. Do they stun him or kill him off? No, they're just trying to lock the other heroes down. Soul Rift, not enough. They will fall. S4 gonna drop suddenly three cores, actually two. Fight the dust along with the Undying. And now looking onto the melee racks, but the Bruce Blitz gonna end fairly soon. Arteezy Teezy still alive through this, and 430 maybe forced back a little bit here. The Golem's about to wear off. They're losing their momentum. Look at the damage coming out from that life drain, and they'll chop down 430. A three for three with a buyback on Secret. Huh. And honestly, a great hold from that. I guess 430 was on the back lines last fight, so if he had the gem in that fight, it could have been, it could have worked. But... I mean, you look at the way IG is itemizing. Burning goes into an Eye of Scotty. Luo did not go for the Necro Book or the Orchid. He went into more of the hard carry brood, as you mentioned. Easy bottom lane. Good luck, my friend. Well, not sure what the plan will be. Quick purge, but he's trying to man fight his way through this one. The... Continuing to go as Luo. <laughs> slowly getting him worked down. Arteezy, look at the life drain, but for now survives. Now the golems come, and they love to finish him off. Out comes the first strike. In comes 430. They'll bring down Arteezy. He's to commit it's a lot for this feeling. one. Zai with a great call. On to three. The golem's about to drop. And now comes Twine. Death Ward of Bouncing doing massive damage. Karoki next. That's going to be three dead. Buyback from Artur. Meanwhile, Zai trying to retreat out. He will drop as well. It's four dead, including the buyback. And that's four. The last man standing just deals with the Aegis. But that's it. He's left alone. Another Viper Strike won't matter. Down he goes to five dead. Plus the buyback on Arteezy. It'll be a second buyback, but... They got nothing, guys. You can't fight into up. If you fight into the IG team, you have to fully commit because upheaval means you're not running. This is a fight you're fully committed to once you take it. And that defusal blade just making oh. life so damn hard for Arteezy with a crit. He just gets run over. Now it's the Viper getting kited. Scotty's there. Double die back, IG. About to make this a 2 1 series, gods. GG. Well played indeed. Well. Luo on the Brood had an incredible performance and showed a new different way this hero can kind of be played. Normally it's just the space creator. This time around he started off that way, but he was the key piece as far as defending against the five-man secret push. He came up big and then late game. Oh man, he was just, they had no answer for him. The way he itemized was just perfect this game. That was, I think the first time I've seen a Brood go that late, honestly. There was the, the one other game that comes to mind was...